preview, view, and review. One type of bilingual arrangement is titled as preview, view, and review. Now, what is this arrangement? This arrangement also, as it is a part of bilingual language arrangements, means that there are two languages that are being used or multiple languages being used in the classroom. So when we say preview, we mean that the teacher gives an overview of the lesson. And when we say view, this means that the actual content of the lesson is discussed in detail with the students. And when we say review, this means that the lesson has now been completed and at this stage, the teacher summarizes the points of the lecture and now closes the lecture by just retracing the steps that have been discussed earlier. This type of um, arrangement where multiple languages are used throughout the different steps of the lesson is also called convergent multiple arrangement. Now let us look at more carefully. <clears throat> now what happens in this convergent multiple arrangement is that the teacher for instance chooses the home language in which first of all she presents the gist of the lesson that is going to be covered during that period. The text in this case uh, will be in another language. In the second stage, the lesson is actually taught in detail in the second language, that is the language of the textbook in this case. <clears throat> and in the last stage, the lesson is again reviewed in the home language of the students. Having said that, there is a certain kind of flexibility where we can change the position of the languages or the use of languages that we are making of in the classroom. So this would mean that we can use the second language in which the gist of the lesson is given. That is, the teacher gives an overview of what the lesson is about by introducing all the disciplinary specific vocabulary and then she moves on to discuss the actual lesson carefully throughout the content in the home language of the learners to ensure that they fully understand the content. And once that has been done, in the third stage again, the lesson is reviewed in the second language. Again, the emphasis is on the specific vocabulary that is to be used in that academic discipline. This method is found to be more useful, especially at tertiary or secondary school level, because it enables the learners to pick up the specific vocabulary that is related to their discipline. And this is more useful when the exam at the end of the uh, term has to be taken in a second language. So, as I said, it enables you to pick up subject-specific lexicon. Lexicon would mean vocabulary. And this is often used in secondary schools. The question is now that must be arising in your mind, which one of the methods is better? Um, again, the answer is the same. It depends on the needs of the learners. Perhaps a good way of doing it is that you practice one method in your class and you give them some sort of an evaluation form so they can tell you which type of classroom arrangement was better for them. So the learners then can tell, let you know that which type of language switching was more useful for them in picking up the language. Now, having said that, if we come back to the classrooms in Pakistan, although we do not call them bilingual uh, classrooms, by 
de facto, they are using the both languages. And in our case, we are using unplanned code switching to teach a textbook that, are, that is in second language. Or if it is um, in the home language, then we make no reference at all to the second language. The thing is, it has to be thought of it has to be done carefully and it has to be done uh, stage-wise if we are to use this framework of preview, view and review.